I'm not, I can't control you, and you can't control me. We can't control each other. But you have, it's, it's something in here. It's, uh, it's in you. And, and with God, your relationship with God, what, what pace you go on, on, uh, on being this, this godly person that God wants you to be. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really just depend on, I mean, you, you can try to. Go ahead and try to depend on me, but like I say, I mean, whatever. What do you want your kids to be? You know what I'm saying? Like when Charles Boyd say, y your parents are your role models, you know? Everybody's a role model, but your parents, they your role model. What, what do you want? What are you censoring your kids on watching? What are you saying, don't do this, don't do that? You need to be teaching them also, you know what I'm saying? But uh, at the same time, it's just a tough deal, you know? I'm just kind of stepping into this role. This is not something I asked for, you know, as far as uh, being able to have the understanding to tell y'all what God wants y'all to do, you know, and what he wants me to do, you know. Um, so, but this is one thing he says to stop doing. Stop judging others, and you will not be judged. This is our Lord Jesus. For others will treat you as you treat them. Whatever measure you use in judging others, it will be used to measure how you are judged. And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? Basically, he's telling you, you know, get yourself right before you know trying. See, I'm not out here trying. I'm not trying to correct y'all like that. I'm trying to give y'all the word of God. The word of God is what's going to correct you. I'm not, I'm not trying to correct you. I'm not saying, hey, you stop doing this. You're evil because you do. No, I'm not saying that. Then you shouldn't do it to me either. You know, like I say, I'm just giving you the word of God. That's, that's my job. And then you you work from that. Now, if you choose not to listen to me because I have flaws, because I'm not perfect, that's on you, man. I can't, ain't nothing I can do about that. But if you really want to get the truth, you know you've been looking at me. You know that, okay, Blake a little, cra he a little throw. He ain't crazy, but he a little, little throw. He do his, his, his style is a little different. Maybe from where he come from, maybe from the like, way things happen in his life, who he hung around, who knows, you know. But just know that he is touched by the Lord. He has been blessed he has been chosen to give this word because he's giving it the right way he's giving the truth even though he has flaws he has sin in his life he's still and he's human yes that's correct i am not jesus christ walking on this earth i surely am not and uh so he basically saying get yourself right before you want to try and go correct anybody now you know what i'm saying get yourself right get the own get the get the, the log out your eye before you go and tell somebody else how to get that log out they eye how you gonna do it? They got a speck in their eye. You got a log in yours. Yours big, you know what I'm saying? Yours might be bigger than theirs, but get it straight. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if, if that's your destiny, get it straight. Get it straight, and, uh, you know, you'll be able to, okay. And then he says, how can you think of saying, let me help, let me help you get rid of the speck, that speck in your eye, when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite, first get rid of the log from your own eye, then perhaps you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Don't give what is holy to unholy people. Don't give pearls to swine. They will trample the pearls and then turn and attack you. And so that, that second part, um, verse 6, is talking about, you know, basically, like what my friend told me, the way you know is if they real or not, is if they respect you, if they accept what you're saying, because it's the truth of God, or if they, like, want to judge you, you know, and, and tell you you're this and that instead of accepting the truth, then that's a problem. That's, then that's, that's, giving, that's giving the pearls to swine, you know what I'm saying, because they're going to trample over it. They're not going to appreciate this truth of the word of God that you're giving from this imperfect vessel. Nobody on this earth, no preacher, no, no, nobody on this earth is perfect. Nobody. Only Jesus Christ came to this earth, did not sin. We, everybody else is, con is condemned to that. But, you know, we have to work and get better, you know, but it's, it's a gradual process, like I said. So whatever you, whatever y'all, I just pray that y'all, you know, like I said, I'm finna start, I'm gonna put the freestyles out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might like them, y'all might not. It might reach a different crowd. It might, other people might like them, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it's like the jump shot that you take. If you don't, if you, it's like uh, a, a shot, you know, you got in the game. If you take it and you make it, cool. If you take it and you miss it, cool. You know what I'm saying? It ain't good, but you missed it. But if you don't take it at all and you pass the ball, well, you don't know if you was going to make it or not. So I don't know if y'all going to like the freestyles or not. I like them. And that's, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like I've grown 
um, as far as the the, the freestyle, and and I'm proud I'm proud of that that I that I've grown. You know what I'm saying? Is uh, cause at first I couldn't really do it as good as I good as I can right now, and it ain't even just the finished product, but just the the progress. So I'm very proud of that. You know, and I want to put it out there, but I've been holding off. You know, wondering what people think. So now I just want to say this. Thank all of y'all who subscribe. Thank all of y'all who support Untouchables for Christ, who support me, support Marcus, Drew, whoever else that's a part of the, uh, that, that wants to participate in Untouchables for Christ. Thank y'all for supporting us. And if we do, if, if you don't like uh, some of the material that goes, uh, like I say, conservative Christians, you will not like the freestyles, all right? So just to let you know, you cannot tune in off top if you don't if you it's cursing in it's curse words in there it's worldly it's worldly uh subjects in there it's worldly subjects in in the world you know and i i rap about them i didn't heard about them i didn't heard different a lot of different things a lot of different things i haven't learned that i haven't lived but i've seen all my life you know what i'm saying i've, I've heard i know about them and that's why i can relate to the people i can relate to the masses because i know what's really going on i know things that are going on in the in the world, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not like an old, old guy that's not really in touch with this generation. I'm a young guy who's right in the middle of this generation, and I know what's going on. So long story short, like my little cousin say, I pray y'all don't judge me. Don't judge others. Don't condemn others because it ain't your job. It ain't your job to judge. But uh, I love you all, and, uh, you know, just... I don't know, just, just support me if you're going to support me. Don't if you're not, you know. That's basically how it go. And uh, I love y'all. I'll I be sa I be a little upset, you know, or disappointed that uh, if anybody leaves, you know. Um, but I'm not perfect. I'm not even finna start stepping into that realm of of that, what, what, what people trying to ask me to do. I'm not, I'm not that person. Not right now. When I grow into it, if I naturally become that person, cool. But right now, I'm being myself. I'm young. I'm single. I'm not, I don't know who, I don't even know all the way who I am. I just have gifts from the Lord. So y'all just please respect that. Please don't get mad at me. I'm finna try and use all my talents and abilities. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be leaving nothing out. Um, I don't want to have any insecurities. I don't want to have any of that. So... If I lose all subscribers, if I lose everybody just because of things that I'm putting out, then I'm sorry. To, I'm really sorry to hear. I'm really sorry to hear. There's a lot of good things out there that the Lord is doing through me and doing through the Untouchables of Christ. So if it's just a little section that you don't like um, and you leave, um, you leave from listening to the ministry or you leave from um, thinking that we, we're good people, then, you know, that, I guess that's on you. I guess it wasn't really meant for you to, to come. You know, or to stay. And like I say, I care about you all, but I can't live, live my life like that. I can't just, I don't know. Not right now. I just can't do that, man. Just, I'm a good guy in the first, I, I, I'm good, but you know, I'm, I, I, I even think I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Can, can, but it don't even matter what I think. So, uh, God bless, you know. Uh, that's it, man. I just ain't nothing else I can do. I'm not going to keep talking about this. You know, if y'all, like I say, if y'all accept me, y'all accept me. If y'all don't, y'all don't. Y'all can unsubscribe if y'all want to. I'm not your conventional preacher. I'm not, I'm not even calling myself a preacher. I'm just a servant of the Lord. I'm just a person who loves the Lord, and God has called me, chosen me to do things for him, and I'm being obedient with my imperfect self. And if y'all don't like that, if y'all think that I'm supposed to be all the way perfect, Y'all will be disappointed, and y'all should stop listening right now. So God bless. Love y'all. Peace.